Hi, I'm Amy Davis with Good Intentions Market, and I'm here today with Stacy from Kaka's Barbecue. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Good. Um, I love your business. Thank and you. And I am inspired by you all the time. I've been looking forward to actually sitting down and, and sharing you Thank with other you. people. Thank you. That is so sweet. Yeah, and I want people to know, tell me about you and about your business. Just, oh gosh, that's a really big topic. It's a big question. I know. Can start I swoosh off. it right down? Yes, okay, yes. so um, super short version. Um, obviously, I uh, I do cockeye with my family, mm -hmm. right? Which is like the world's greatest thing. My husband and both of my sons are part of the company. Uh, Eric and I started it in a very organic way. Um, we started doing barbecue for entertainment's sake. Uh, when the when boys, was that? Oh, so long ago. The boys were little. Max okay. and Ben were maybe like two and four. Okay. And, you know, the big family event would be to go on a Kansas City Barbecue Society cookout. Okay. And these Kansas City Barbecue Society events are little competitions. I'm sure you've seen them on TV. Mm -hmm. And we could bring the kids and we could bring the dog. I mean, you could bring everything. Right. And so it was kind of just, we went on our first one. Mm -hmm. We did horrible. We wanted to win. <laughs> so you participated. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, the very, very first one, Eric and I took an old van that broke down on the way, but we got there. <laughs> uh, Ohio State has one in mm -hmm. Rocking Hills. Yep. So the Ohio, Kansas City Barbecue Society Ohio State competition in Hocking Hills was the very first one that we went to. And this was uh, maybe 2002, 2003. Okay. Uh, loved it, had a great time, decided mm -hmm. we wanted to keep doing it, so we did. And over the course of several years, we did start winning a little bit. Uh, yeah. Eric is very good at what he does, mm -hmm. so uh, that was kind of it. It was, so it was uh, more for fun? No question, absolutely. Like you were like, we're gonna go win these competitions. Yes, we're gonna go do this little thing. And okay. uh, there was a community of people and we all shared recipes and ideas. Mm -hmm. And there was like the Friday night cooks night. And it was just like a fun weekend thing that you would do. Okay. That morphed into, hey, now the smokers are at the house and you know, so-and-so's having a money. graduation party. Yeah. Can you make some pulled pork for us? Or so-and-so's having a wedding. Maybe you could do some chicken or um, it just kind of became a thing. Then the boys were older and mm -hmm. they had friends and then people were coming over to the house. And um, <laughs> there were a lot of weekends where, you know, we always did the meat and everybody brought the sides. Yeah. So come on over. And that went on for years. So what were you doing as your actual job at that uh, my, time? Uh, yeah, what did you really do? <laughs> well, at that time we... Because uh, we've all started out doing yeah, something else, something right? completely right. different. Yeah. Uh, I was in radio and TV for a while. Okay. Uh, then I had my kids jumped out of that and okay. I sold fence, you know, okay. like outdoor fence. Yeah. Um, I sold fence. Okay. And then eventually I ended up selling uh, like high security industrial fencing for like prisons and okay. that kind of thing. So you're a sales girl. I guess kind maybe of? a yeah. little bit, maybe yeah. a little bit. Um, so during this whole thing, mm -hmm. uh, I was on my way to work one day and there was this little building. It was an eyesore. I used to have to drive by it every day, every day, every day. And it had been nearly abandoned. Mm -hmm. uh, and one day on my way to work, mm -hmm. I saw a sign that said absolute auction. And so I called Eric and I said, "Hun, what do you think? And he says, you want to go to this auction? And I said, yeah, I totally want to go to this auction. He yeah. says, all right, well, let's do it. So all of our friends are in the trades. You know, someone's a plumber and someone's an electrician mm -hmm. and someone's a carpenter. And yep. And they all get off work at two, three o'clock. Yeah. And so we called all of our friends and we said, come look at this building, see if this is something that we can bring back. Can we make this better? Mm -hmm. And they all said, yeah. And so... When, what year was that? 2014. Okay. So 2014, we get the building. Um, the boys are there. They're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, this is insane. Like, what are you thinking? But... Uh, you know, whatever, we wanted a clubhouse. Eric always said that we bought uh, the building because he wanted a clubhouse. Okay. It's like I, his man cave? Yeah, like I fun. guess. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. But um, we started to rehab the building and realized that, you know, we cater for people all the time. We mm -hmm. cater parties. If we just cater every day, 
maybe do the same thing. Maybe people will come and yeah, they will. Maybe. Yeah. So 2015, I remember we turned on the open sign. I am crying. No. Tears are streaming down my face. I'm like, oh, what did we do? This is going to mm -hmm. be really scary. And it was because scary. It was at, at that point uh, everything that we had, yep. everything, everything. And so Ooh. far, so good, right? Knock on wood. Yeah. I think it's gone over really seven well. Seven years later. Yeah, I think it's been are. okay. Yeah, yeah, seven years later, here we are. Yeah. So, that's the story. Uh, what, like, so you've kind of talked about like what, it's like the barbecue, then you got into, like, was there an order to this? Like, um, sauces, or yeah. just like you just did it? it w well, okay, so the sauce, that was 20 years in the making. I mean, that was, mm -hmm. And I always tell, like, there are some flavors in our sauces that are very unique. Mm -hmm. However, um, our original sauce was made out of ingredients that I had bought at the Aldi off the shelf. I mean, there's Mix nothing. It yes, it's how mm -hmm. you put it together. Right. Um, blackberry smoke is one of our very yeah. uh, popular sauces. And I'll tell you, <laughs> it exists because Eric mm -hmm. and his friend were going hunting and they were in the woods, and um, if you are a hunter, know much about that. Um, there was a blackberry trail, um, mm -hmm. and they were they were working to get ready for hunting season. Mm -hmm. And Eric had two 10-gallon buckets of blackberries. Oh, he collected. Yes, and he, he brought them back to the restaurant, and he says, Dave and I just picked these in the what field. Are what are we gonna do with these? I think I'm gonna make a barbecue sauce, and that yeah. is, that was the beginning of blackberry smoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because That's Eric great. had decided that he needed to go hunting and he needed to kind of take care of some stuff. Everybody I talk to has a story. It's real, there's right? A story. Like, there's a, like, there's crazy, a reason like, how why did it's happened, there? Yeah, right? Yeah, 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 we have yeah, them, yeah, yeah. everybody talks to, yeah. that, and I love to hear these stories because yeah. I'm like, can we get to this point yeah. for, because of some crazy story? Yeah, like, it's truly, some, truly. Yeah, not yeah. story. The rub, the rub yeah. is, uh, the rub was just, what we were doing on mm -hmm. each one of the different meats. And- mm -hmm. um, Does it say the same? It does, which okay. is slightly different from a lot of folks. A lot of people will do a different rub on each meat. Right. And if I'm being honest, when we were in competition, we did have a couple of different rubs. Yeah. Uh, but at the restaurant, we kind of, um, just kind of come to the one rub mm -hmm. and we're happy with that. Yeah, so, seems like everybody's happy with that. So we kind of just went with kind of an all purpose mm -hmm. right now, um, yeah. which was our original uh, pulled pork rub. Okay. What, so you can get barbecue sauce, you can get rubs, you can have, you know, I carry different ones and stuff. What makes yours special to you? Like what is, I, like, you know, uh, is there, me, was there something unique? Is there something like no, what? No, no. I guess what makes it special, a, a lot of people say is they taste, um, they taste genuine or real. Mm -hmm. And that makes sense. There's mm -hmm. no preservatives. Okay. Um, so that's part of it, I think. Yeah. Um, the, the real, the real flavor, if you will, mm -hmm. I think it, it's obvious in the rubs and in the sauces, mm -hmm. but I, when we got into ice cream mm -hmm. and we started um, really breaking down how to do the ice cream, mm -hmm. we used the same concepts in terms of starting with a fresh ingredient, mm -hmm. it's gonna end up tasting better. Mm -hmm. um, so we're really big believers in mm -hmm. um, quality in, quality out. Yep. Garbage in, garbage out. Yep. So I think that's part of the difference with our rubs and our sauces. We're very particular about the ingredients we begin with. I like it. Yes. Um, as a farmer, we, we definitely feel the can same get way. That. We can get behind that. Yeah, we can stand behind that. Um, in life, in general, yeah. what inspires you? Uh, you are very motivated. You are very, honestly, like, what inspires you? Why do you do this like all day? Why every do day? why do um, because I think that the community connection, like bringing people together, right? Mm -hmm. um, so often people don't engage with each other anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, they maybe hide behind a screen or hide behind something else. And I really believe in genuine connections. Mm -hmm. I love, love, love being at the restaurant. And mm -hmm. if 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 anyone were to ever choose to come to the restaurant, thank you very much if you ever do, but yeah. 
When you do, my most favorite thing is catching up with real people who have real stories. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's how we build community. I think it that's is. how we build a sense of purpose. Mm -hmm. And for me, Kaka in particular was very much about that. Mm -hmm. um, it's very personal. No question, yeah, no question. Yeah, it's very personal. And when I am at the restaurant or when mm -hmm. I am out in the community and yeah. I see someone that I know and we have a, a connection over anything, mm -hmm. it can be fishing, it can be right. uh, over herbs, it could be over the cool new lemonade recipe that we came up with, like whatever mm -hmm. it might be. Yeah. Um, I guess it's that, that's what inspires me. Yes. It inspires me to hear your amazing story about whatever it was and or help you through whatever weird thing you're going through. Like just be real, be a real person. So I will do that forever, I think, I hope, for a while. I, I feel like it's your platform. Maybe. I think your business is your platform for Maybe. you being you. Yeah. I, I, it's, when yeah, I, when I connect, there. it is, it, it opens, it's just they come in and, and, and like they're given to you and you yeah, have this opportunity and have this to love them. And, have this yeah. amazing mm -hmm. moment. Like, and I, and I tell people all the time, and I truly feel this way about Kakai. Um, Kakai in particular serves comfort food. Mm -hmm. um, so people will often come to us on the very best day of their life or the very worst. And mm -hmm. your job, our job, is to take that moment in time and make it as best as you possibly can. Yes. It might only be 20 minutes, but man, it better be. But it matters. A great 20 minutes. Yes, that's all. Mm -hmm. I that's very inspiring to me. I think um, when you go there, I, I think as a business owner, when when people come in our doors, we that connection with the owner is so important. And it's when I'm deal. here, it's a big deal. And I think as I go on and as you go, you know, and this journey continues, just always remembering that and knowing yeah. like when they come in, they, I, I say all the time on, on it, my job is to talk to everybody. And, and, and it's whether I'm talking about our food or it's talking about how they're doing or just, yeah. it's, it, you know, like even my staff will say, you know, I would guarantee your staff will say the same thing. She talks to everybody. Uh, I do talk, I talk to everybody, <laughs> I right. Talk to everybody. And I can, and, but. But I want that, to. So do I, yeah. yeah. And I think that's what, will continue to make you successful. I Thank think you. when you genuinely care and you go about things intentionally, that's very obviously in my good intentions, good intentions yeah. right? And you inspire me because of that. So every oh. time I'm around you, that feeling and that great energy where like you Thank feel you. loved around you Aww. is what I hope people feel when they're at, at your business and when they're Thank buying you. your stuff, I really, I really do. Um, and I think it'll continue to inspire you. I think you're growing. Um, tell me about some of your new adventures. Yes, like so we do have some, out. we do. We, we have two things that we're working on right now um, and I could not be more excited. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really excited for you too. So the first thing that we decided, um, our creamery mm -hmm. has, um, has really kind of become that exact thing that we wanted it to be. We wanted mm -hmm. it to be an area where you could come and bring multi-generations together. Mm -hmm. um, we have people walking through the neighborhood. This is 2022. Yeah. People walking through the neighborhood coming to have an ice cream cone. Mm -hmm. Listen, win. Got, like, it's back. Oh, yes. Uh, that was a really- So we did when we were kids. It was a really big deal for me. Do you remember you yes. would get on your bike and you, okay. Yep. That happens again. Yeah. On the west side of Warren. Yeah. Could not Love be. Um, so we decided, Let's try to do it in again. Okay. If, if we did it once, let's try to do it again. Okay. And you're ready now. You feel like this is the right time. We do. Okay. Um, and in order to do that, we needed a bigger facility where we could make more ice cream more efficiently. Sure. So we have made an investment in a, a small manufacturing plant, mm -hmm. and we will be building that out to do ice cream that we can put in uh, restaurants and small stores. Love it. Um, in different kinds of areas. So reinvesting in your community. Absolutely. Hoping new to. jobs. Yes. Like all, it, it, yes, all of it. All of it. Then just when we thought we had a plan, like, mm -hmm. all right, this yes. is da, 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 uh, we were approached with an opportunity to open our second restaurant. Mm -hmm. And we've been talking about it for a while and looking yeah. at different areas. Um, but this 
this one was... That felt right? It did. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be moving into Penguin Brewing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's their new facility in downtown Youngstown at the yes. end of Federal. Um, I gotta tell you, I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. It's it's a great opportunity for us. It is a fabulous location. Mm -hmm. it, it's a great partnership. It's an amazing partnership. Yes. Their motivations are very much like ours. Mm -hmm. They want to build community. They believe in making a place where people can go and gather mm -hmm. safely. Um, I just, we had looked at a lot of different locations. Sure. And at the end of the day, this one clicked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I, uh, I am, I, <sighs> I wanted to go really fast. Like, yeah. can we open by October? Right. Yeah, no, we can't. No, no. that's not a thing. Uh, it is going to take a little bit longer okay. than we had thought. Uh, we are building it from the ground up. Okay. It is an empty factory floor okay. right now. Mm -hmm. So we do have to. That's kind of the fun of it, though. You get to like create uh, yeah, your own thing. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. If I'm looking for the silver lining there, you yeah. are correct. But uh, eh. I want to be, be open great. tomorrow. I it's know. probably going to be six to nine months. Okay. maybe longer but sure. um we will be open in the penguin brewery so what's the difference between like what do you envision like the difference being between the two sure like, do you want them the same do you uh, want like, I don't a little think twist they, I, on it yeah like, i don't think they are going to be the same um kaka is a little bit more of a roadhouse you know okay. uh it kind of has that feel it's yeah. a little more mom and pop and uh thank god i'm the mom so mm -hmm. i can say that and i right. don't feel bad no, about that's it that's great yeah um Penguin is a little more urban. Yeah. We liked the idea that it was going into an old steel factory. Yeah. Um, we're a little rough around the edges. <laughs> we meet Eric and I. Yeah. You will know. Uh, a so steel, it gets you. A steel factory is exactly where we are meant to be. I'm excited. And uh, yeah. it's right by the university. Yeah. So, I mean, oh my I God, feel the like. I will love it. I'm this, hoping. This, yeah. I'm hoping. No, they it'll, will. It'll, the, the menu will not be exact, mm -hmm. it will be very, very, very close. Okay. But there will be certain things that you can get in Youngstown that you won't be able to get in Warren and certain okay. things you can get in Warren oh, like that. that you won't yeah. be able to get in Youngstown. Make the trip. But, you know, it kind of appeals to I different like folks. It. And I know all of our Mahoning Valley friends are like, yeah, the yes. drive's going to be like 15 minutes instead yeah. of 45. We're way out here too. Yeah, so, so I mean, I, I have heard a lot of people be like, oh, can't wait till you get here. So yeah. we are super excited it's about both projects. It's far enough projects. away. Yeah. It's far enough. Well, that's exactly it, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. yeah, those are our two new projects. We're so what do you what do you want? Like I, I do these things where I break down like, here's what I want this year, and here's what I want. You know, what mm -hmm. do you what do you want? Like, what's your like in do life? You have a lifetime like with this? Do you have a? Oh, you know what? It changes you, every day. Does it change? I yeah. wish I could say. And again, because I'm lucky enough to work with my family. Yes. Um, what I want is one big whopping quarter. Mm -hmm. of what we want together uh, oh, I love it. so because we move through everything like mm -hmm. uh, Ben might be interested in building this particular thing or my son Max might be interested in, sure. in kind of focusing on something else mm -hmm. and certainly Eric knows what he wants and right. you know I've got my little two cents that we put in yeah. there um, we all agree that beach vacations are amazing uh, we, um, <laughs> I'm a firm believer in beach vacations so yes. uh, so beach house uh, uh, you never maybe. know. I mean, honestly, truly, yeah. I love where we live. We yeah. get all four seasons. Yes. I can see and appreciate yeah. all four seasons. Um, I but love. But the beach is nice. The beach is amazing. <laughs> Good. Well, thank you so much. I will be following you and supporting you, and I'm looking forward to doing some things partnership with yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be a lot of fun. Awesome. So thank, thank you, you Amy. You're welcome.